Jennifer Rubiello, campaign director with Environment Florida. All right, well, why don't we begin then, if you could please tell me what the EPA rule was that came out this week. Absolutely. Uh, well, this week we are celebrating a new rule that was signed by top uh, federal officials uh, to keep help keep our drinking water and waters all across Florida and the United States clean and uh, protected from development and pollution. So it's a clarification maybe of what which types of waters are affected by or governed by the Clean Water Act. Absolutely. Uh, the Clean Water Rule will restore safeguards under the nation's Clean Water Act to 29% of Florida's streams, including those that feed into the Hillsborough River and Tampa Bay. These are the small streams and headwaters that have been vulnerable to development and pollution for nearly a decade now because of a loophole in the law um, pushed forth by Supreme Court decisions in the 2000s. And the some critics of this new rule, such as the Florida Farm Bureau, say that the regulation now will reach to agricultural canals, drainage ditches that are dry some of the year. What's your response to that? Well, unfortunately, the oil and gas industry uh, had, and companies and developers have bitterly opposed the clean water rule and are trying to block it in the U.S. Senate. Um, the key thing is that this week's clean water rule protects streams that feed the drinking water source for nearly 2 million Floridians and many more all across the country. Um, these are the waters that we fish in and boat in and, and drink from. Um, and they can only be clean if the streams that flow into it are protected. And that's why this week's action is the biggest victory for clean water in a decade. Does it clarify the, the issue or does it make it <clears throat> excuse me does it make it more difficult to to find a clarification because the agricultural commissioner at a Putnam says the Obama administration is expanding EPA's reach mm -hmm. and it and fails to clear up the confusion but you think that it makes it more clear why is he wrong and you right about mm -hmm. this without a doubt the Clean Water Act used to protect um, all of our waters uh, across the country it's our bedrock environmental law and because of this loophole, as I mentioned, over 15,000 miles of Florida streams are not fully protected under development, uh, of, of, from development or pollution, um, plus 20 million acres of wetlands all across the country that um, feed and filter uh, our, our waterways. Um, and so this Clean Water Rule, in fact, restores Clean Water Act protections to these more vulnerable streams um, to levels uh, to original levels. So in fact, we're, we're, we're merely restoring protections to what they used to be um, 10 years ago. Republicans control the House of Representatives in, in Washington and the U.S. Senate. Mm -hmm. There's a push in Congress to, in, so to react to these new rules by the EPA by coming out with new legislation. I assume that you, if they do that, that what would the Obama, would Obama, President Obama might veto that or if it, if it even passes the Senate? What do you know about what the Republicans are planning? Um, well, certainly uh, uh, some members of Congress are, and their allies are working, hate the idea of the clean water rule and are uh, working hard to make sure it uh, isn't implemented. Um, and so thankfully, Senator Nelson has been a steady champion for our rivers and streams. Uh, now we really need him more than ever to make sure that these clean water protections are signed, sealed, and delivered. Do you know what might be the next steps then after that, or, or is this, um, we just have to wait and see what's happening in Congress? Um, the next two months are gonna be critical, um, so we need to make sure that we are mobilizing as much public support as possible all across the state, and quite frankly, all across the country, um, to make sure that these protections, these vital protections for our streams and um, the, the waterways that we get our drinking water from um, are, again, signed, sealed, and delivered, and, and ultimately implemented. Um, the fate of our waterways depends on it. Great, thanks so much for your time today.